Welcome to my awesome whiteboard setup here in my office. Very high tech, very impressive, I know. Please hold your compliments for my amazing skills. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, rotation. Last week I talked about how sitting on the bar is kind of a myth. Coaches say it all the time. You're sitting on the bar. Well, it's not really the cause of, of why you're knocking the bar off. Every jumper in one form or another is going to assume some sort of sitting position when they jump over the bar. The reason it looks more like sitting for some people is because they're not rotating enough. If you're laying on your back with your knees up and your legs out, that's a sitting position, but it doesn't look like it because you're on your back. If you're not, if you're still vertical when you're trying to go over the bar and your back straight up and down, of course that's going to look like you're sitting in a chair, even though it's the same body position. So what we're going to talk about is how to get more rotation over the bar. That's the real key. If you're rotating more, you don't have your legs hanging down and you don't have to sit early to get your, try to get your legs out of the way, which really doesn't seem to work. So let me draw a little diagram and I'll talk about how to get more rotation over the bar. So if we're going to look at this as if we're looking uh, down the bar, we're at the end of the, the bar and we're going to look down. That's our bar. Here's our standards. Here's the pit. And we're coming this way, obviously, from this side into the pit, and we're going to jump over. The, the thing that you'll see a lot is that what people try to do to get the rotation over the bar is do what they're used to. They're, they're used to doing backflips. You know, they've got a trampoline, diving board, whatever it is. They're used to doing backflips. And so what they do is they come into the bar, and they're not leaning very much. They come in almost parallel to the bar. And so they, they run their curve and they come in and they're leaning just a little tiny bit. And so in order to, to flip themselves over the bar, what they do is this um, kind of a shoulder arm head flip. And I mean, that's what you do with a back flip. You use your arms, you arch your back and your head, you bring your knees up and you flip. That's what they try to do sideways. They, they try to do that sideways and that just doesn't work. It's a very inefficient way to flip for a couple reasons. One, your body doesn't really bend that way. And two, the second you start doing that, you're no longer jumping straight up. You're jumping sort of twisted sideways. You're losing power that you could be going straight up with and you're putting it into the flip. So the key is to flip, but also jump straight up at the same time. And I'll show you how to do that. So let me just kind of illustrate this some more. They go from a uh, very gentle lean, not much of a lean, to this kind of arched position. And it just doesn't doesn't seem to work because when they reach the peak, when you reach the peak of your jump, this is where their body is. It's on an angle like this, feet down here, head up here. That's a really hard place to clear. So what do you do? You try to get your feet up as quickly as possible. So you assume that sitting position, you drop your butt too quick, butt comes onto the bar, you knock it off. So that's why people call it a sitting position. It's because you're trying to get over it so quickly because your legs are hanging down so far that you just, your butt comes down to the bar, you knock it off. So let me show you what it, what it looks like when you have enough rotation. Use my fancy tissue eraser here on my super clean whiteboard. Um, when you have enough rotation, it comes from good lean at, at when your plant foot, when your takeoff foot hits the ground. So you run your curve and you run a tighter curve and you're leaning into the curve because you have to. When you run a curve, you have to lean to the middle. That's just the way physics work. So you're leaning into the curve. And this is a little bit exaggerated, of course. So you're leaning in to the curve and that's away from the bar. This is at when you, uh, your last foot hits the ground. That's the plant. At takeoff, you're going to be right here, vertical. Now that time, while well, that foot is on the ground, from when it plants on the ground to when you take off, that time and that change of angle is going to cause the rotation. That's what causes rotation, right? If I start the, the pen like this and let go right here, it's going to flip. That's just kind of the way it works, obviously. So that's physics. So you're going to start with an angle and you're going to go straight up. This is going to help you in two ways. First, it's going to let you jump straight up. You don't have to do your shoulder thing, your head thing to flip. You can go as high as you can because you're going directly up, just straight up. So that's the first benefit. The second benefit is because you've got lean and you've got the rotation, 
you're going to have a, a more rotation than if you would have tried to do it that really inefficient way with your shoulders and your head. The difference will be right here. At the top of your jump, if your body was flat, this is where you'd be. Your feet would be high, your head would be about even with your feet, or maybe your knees obviously will go over flat. So your legs might be hanging down a little bit. And uh, your knees and your head are going to be about on the same plane. That's where you want to be. When, you're, when you reach your peak, when your center of gravity goes over the bar, you want your knees and your head to be about level. If not, your head a little bit below your knees. What this will do is because you're rotating still fairly quickly, you don't have to, to sit as, as much as you would if you, um, if you were doing it the other way. And so as you continue to rotate around here, your body, your head comes down here, and your legs are going to come out of the way almost naturally. You really won't have to kick as hard and as, as really kind of vigorously as you did before because that's the only way you could get over the bar was to kick. When you have enough rotation, your legs naturally come out of the way. You don't have to worry about that as much. You're still going to have to kick. You're still going to have to drop your butt, time that well over the bar so you're dropping your butt. After you pass the bar, bring your legs up. But it's not going to be as critical. That, I mean, before, that was the only way to get over was to, to kind of twist your body over after you'd already gotten your, your head and your butt over. Rotation is the key. And if you watch if, at your next meet um, or your next practice, if you watch the other jumpers, you're going to see a lot of people do this. And the sure sign that they're doing this is the way they land on the pit. If they land like this, with their feet up here and their head right here on their butt, they're, they're not getting nearly enough rotation. However, if they're landing with their back more like this and their feet straight up in the air or even more, even on the back of their neck, that's when they tend to have just about the right amount of rotation. Um, and if you're up at higher heights, six, six to up to seven feet, they'll definitely be landing on the back of their neck if they have enough rotation. So that's the sign. If they're landing on their butts kind of in this, this V position, not enough rotation. If they're landing on their backs or on the back of their neck, they have just about the right amount of rotation. So watch for that. Watch for people's rotation. This is a really important thing that, that most people miss. Is It's not about arching. It's not about kicking. It's about rotation. And those other things are just to help you maximize your height from the rotation. So um, hopefully this helps. If you like this video, if you like me doing stuff like this, let me know. Otherwise, I'll save myself the embarrassment of being on video in the future and just keep it to to just emails. So let me know and uh, best of luck with your jumping.